Hey guys, it's Brahman. It is Wednesday at 11 a.m. in Mexico City. I have another head cold. <laughs> so not happy about this because this is supposed to be, yes, publication week for Imperfect and Broken, books one and two in my Disappeared series. Couldn't come at a worse time, but, you know, I have um, an iron deficiency. Makes me sick easily. <laughs> and uh, so I went looking for iron supplements the other day. I don't know, Mexico City, it's so difficult to find. The only one I could find were these prenatal vitamins. Just so, so embarrassing and infuriating that I had to buy and take these. Um, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, anyway, I should be feeling better soon, but I wanted to give you a little update on uh, what's going on at Bronwyn Inc. <laughs> By Bronwyn Inc., I mean my computer, me, and my tea. That's the team, baby. <laughs> That's the team. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I got back book two, Broken, from my wonderful copy editor, Steph Bandermulen. Um, and I was able to go through the changes in uh, less than a day. And uh, she, as usual, she had a lot of helpful feedback on um, repetition. That's my, my big uh, writing sin. I tend to use the same words over and over. <laughs> because I'm lazy. Um, so I had to fix some of that. She fixed my commas for me. Um, there was some speech that was a bit too colloquial. I had to fix that. Um, but nothing too major. At this point, I'm I'm really just done. I want to get it out there. I know it's not going to be perfect, so um, I just want to publish it and move on to the next book. So um, today and yesterday, I've been working on making an ebook out of Broken. Um, it's going much smoother this time because I already did it for Imperfect, so the coding is is not um, nearly as difficult, but once again, I recommend Guido Henkel's amazing book, um, The Zen of uh, Formatting. Um, takes you through everything step by step. Um, awesome, I, I love that book. So, um, so yeah, I've been working on the coding, and I've been working on new CTAs um, called Actions for the Back of Book Two. Um, so again, a mailing list um, graphic that I'm creating, and I'm creating a graphic this time to ask people to review uh, the book. Um, so I don't know, it might be ready to go up today. I'm in the, the final final uh, stages of preparing the HTML file, and then I have to convert it in Calibre, and then I'm going to start uploading. Um, my mother <laughs> generously proofread the first book for me last weekend. I realized there were still mistakes, so I'm going to ask her to proofread Broken um, too quickly um, after I put it up just to catch any last residual errors because I really I don't want people to, to pick out that stuff. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Um, anyway, what else have I been doing? Oh, I discovered the magic of Smart URL. Um, so if you are putting a Amazon link anywhere, specifically for me in the call to action at the back of my books, like go buy book two, go buy book one, whatever you want to do. Um, the problem is um, if you put in an Amazon link, usually it would just go to like Amazon.com or Amazon.ca, but what if somebody is from Australia? I mean, that's going to piss them off. They can't buy the book. So smart URL, what it does is you put in your book's um, Amazon link, and then it collects all of the other Amazon links in all the other stores in Canada and Japan and the Netherlands, etc. And so when your reader clicks um, that smart URL link, um, it will automatically redirect them to um, their Amazon page in their country. So that is a really awesome tip. I think I picked that up from um, David Gogren's book. Let's get visible. Um, another great tip is that if you're going to be inserting any kind of Amazon links, make sure you get an Amazon Affiliates account. Um, you get a certain percentage of any sale, um, even from your own books. That's perfectly acceptable. And the person doesn't have to buy right away when they click through to Amazon, nor do they have to buy your specific product. They have to buy, I think it's within 24 to 48 hours. Um, and um, it can be anything in the Amazon store as long as they've come through um, on your your uh, particular associates code. So right now I have an associates code in um, Amazon.ca and I've set one up for Amazon.com because I think um, more I'm going to be getting 
my audience is American, so it makes more sense for me to collect um, on the .com side um, because unfortunately, if you have a .ca affiliate and somebody buys on .com, you're not going to get a percentage of that sale. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a slightly tricky little thing. If you have any questions about that, I'm not sure if I explained it very well. Um, just uh, leave me a, a question in the comments, and I can try to clarify. Um, anyway, that's some exciting stuff I'm working on. Um, I've also put up my book on a uh, library thing, um, member giveaway. I've had 33 requests so far. I have 100 copies out there um, available free for de to download the first book. Um, unfortunately, with Goodreads, you can't give away ebooks, as I seem to remember. They have to be physical copies. So, Library Thing is the only only um, program. Library Thing, by the way, is like Goodreads uh, in almost every way. Um, it Library Thing is the only platform that allows you to give away ebooks. Um, so it's it's not as nearly as popular as Goodreads. I'm not very active on Library Thing, but um, I'm trying it out. I've also been um, frantically emailing book bloggers. Um, I'm really not sure if this is a worthwhile activity. Book bloggers are so, so busy, um, and um, there's a lot of books out there. So I really have been getting not a lot of response, especially for the time I've put into crafting. I craft an individual email well, from a template to each book blogger. That takes a lot of time. I've been trying to do it in my spare time, so I'm not taking away from writing and coding and other primary activities, but um, it really hasn't garnered a lot of results. But I'm trying to think of it like I'm sowing the seeds. I'm making a big um, Excel file of, of book bloggers, hoping to build some relationships and um, hopefully sowing some seeds for the future. So. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, that's really all of um, all of what I have to say for today. Um, but yeah, I'm in the final process of publishing. I'm gonna make a special video when I do publish and how that goes. Um, I'm really I'm really nervous. I'm really excited. Um, you know, this has all been a dream so far, and I've just kind of been in my own world doing it. And now I finally realize like. I really have to make this work. I really have to to make some money off this, and uh, and I feel like the odds are against me. So um, how do I sleep at night? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe I'll dedicate a special video to my to my particular brand of panic surrounding this. But anyway, um, that's all for me. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye.